No, definitely not. Uh, right now, today, Najib has, as you've mentioned, uh, been charged, jointly charged, with the former Treasury Secretary General, uh, Irwan Sarika Abdullah. Uh, when Najib Razak was the Prime Minister, he also held the portfolio of Finance Minister. And uh, Irwan Sarika Abdullah was his uh, Secretary General. And uh, as you can see today in court, they were jointly charged for criminal breach of trust of up to about 6.6 .6 billion uh, ringgit Malaysia, uh, which comes about 1.5 billion, uh, 1.6 billion US dollars. Uh, and another individual has also been charged. Uh, she is the country's uh, chief spy. Uh, she's the, the country's chief spy, uh, Hassana Abdul Hamid. Uh, she is being charged separately from the two. Uh, she is being charged for one count of criminal breach of trust uh, in relation to uh, the misappropriation of about 12.1 million US dollars uh, ahead of the recent general elections in May. So yes, uh, we've seen uh, several people being charged today in court. What about the terms of bail? Is there any significance in that? Uh, ever since uh, Najib Razak was first charged, he was a uh uh, the bail set for him has been in the millions of ringgit. This is, uh, this is quite large, uh, showing the seriousness of the crime. Uh, for the uh, former Treasur Treasury Secretary General and Najib Razak today, uh, they were set with bail of 1 million ringgit uh, each, which comes to about 120,000 US dollars each, uh, including the former National Spy Chief Hassan Abdul Hamid. Uh, she was set bail at 500,000 uh, 500, uh, ringgit Malaysia, which is uh, also a big, significant amount. I think this is a message that the, uh, the current government is now trying to show that they are serious in fighting. Uh, uh